me dick dickhead <laughs> you can't fucking you can't like bro don't gaslight me don't gaslight me is this real bro is these numbers real again um thank you so much for the uh the super chat katie uh kp appreciate that man and robert appreciate you as well thank y'all thank y'all uh but i is these numbers real bro let me check out the page. Uh, let me check out WrestleNomics, man. I, I, it's not that I don't trust you. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just these numbers are so wild. I need, like, I need the subscription that I pay for to confirm it for me. You feel me? Nothing, again, nothing against you, but these numbers are crazy. So, okay. Rampage did 255. They didn't do 225. They did 55. So Rampage did 255, which is terrible. What the fuck? Let, hold on. Let, before we even get to Collision, 225? What was going on Friday? Was What what, what was going on Friday? Was, was it Caitlin Clark? Was it? Caitlin, what was that? Uh, fu- who, who, Indiana fe- Fever. Indiana Fever versus Chicago Liberty. What? Damn. They got destroyed. My bad. This not this not the basketball channel. Hint, hint. There is a basketball channel. Hint, hint. But that, that game was Saturday. Ringside... What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? No, you can't, mom. I understand it's Angel Reese versus Caitlin Clark. I understand that. Look, Humble 85, I understand that. And it's not to, it's not to, um, Lowball them for lack of a better word. It's not to you know diminish what they mean. And WNBA is on fire right now for sure. For sure, WNBA is on fire. But is it more popular? It, it it's not no nah, no nah, no nah, I ain't gonna say that. How many AEW fans is watching WNBA though? There's gotta be something we missing, bro. There's got to be something we missing. 122? Ain't no fucking way. There is no way, bro. How does Collision have lower ratings than Rampage? Was there a hurricane? Was there an apocalypse that I'm not aware of? What the fuck? Hey, hey. <laughs> what? The? No, bro. I, no, man. I... Man, I <laughs> I know Tony. <laughs> hey, I know Tony Khan's seen him rate is looking like this, bro. Hold on, hold on. I know he was. Like, boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. <laughs> you know, you know he had to look at the rating. Boy ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy ain't no 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 way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. Bro, all right. Okay. Good point. Good Good point. Good point. There was UFC 302. But, <laughs> okay, UFC 301. When was UFC 301? Let's see. Let's, let's do the research here. UFC 301 was May 4th. Saturday, May 4th. AW collision was it was did they have a AW collision May 4th? Was there a May 4th collision? Okay, so 
okay, that makes a lot of sense. They didn't have a collision on May. F- they didn't have a collision. That 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 makes sense. That. But 102 or one, whatever, 100,000. I got to see that chart, chat. I got to see that chart. Why the fuck would you have rampate me? Why would you have collision then? Like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, the one thing you could say about them. The one thing you can say about them is they understand that they can't compete with the UFC. They understand that they can't compete with WrestleMania. They understand that they can't compete with a lot of these shows on Saturdays. So they will move Collision to a different day. They'll move it to like, they've moved it to like Thursdays or two. Am I tripping when I say that? They've moved it to Friday before, I believe. Yeah, they've moved Collision to Friday. They've moved Rampage. They, you know, they moved Rampage and stuff. Why didn't they do that this time? That is god awful. Um, WrestleNomics is yet to post it. Where are y'all getting these ratings? There is no way, bro. But even then, but even the I'm I'm trying to see like I don't I don't collision ratings. Yeah, I don't collision has TNA ratings. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing it. I got to see that to believe it. Who was tweeting this shit? Oh, we got to talk about Dax real quick, too. Hold up. Who are, where are y'all getting these numbers from? It's multiple people saying it. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where y'all getting these ratings from. Yeah, I don't know. It's multiple people saying it, but until I get the WrestleNomics, I'm not going to say nothing about it. Remind me to talk about it tomorrow, though. I think it should be come back tomorrow. Um, But still, Rampage 225? Jesus Christ, dog. Like, Damn, man, I never like that show forever a legendary because CM Punk, like, let's be honest, both shows for real, both shows forever legendary because of CM Punk. But damn, 220, bro, that is a combined 347, bro. <laughs> that is a, compl- a combined 347, bro. Mr. Beast gets that in 30 seconds. Jesus Christ, bro. I, damn. I, I don't know, man. I, I agree. ROH should be Rampage. Or Rampage should be ROH. It's really dead. Oh, yeah. NXT definitely destroyed them. But, well, I mean, to be fair, they always do. I mean, combined, though? Combined? NXT destroyed. Collision and Rampage combined. That is amazing. That is amazing. But, yeah, they need to get that together, bro. They might as well just cancel that. Why they still got Rampage and they ain't got Dark? And they ain't got Elevation? Who even watches Rampage, bro? Like, where do you even watch Rampage? Who the fuck watches Rampage? You, Those are the diehards. This is the diehard number. 225? What link? What link? What link you talking about, Connor? But 225, that is the... Those are the diehards. (laughs) 
not I'm not seeing one. You not nothing is popping up when you post a link. But yeah, bro, that that that's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. One twenty. That is awful. They need to get that together. They might as well cancel them. And I'm hearing with the new media deal. I'm hearing with the new media deal. Um, they want both shows. So Rampage and Collision is going to be going still. The only thing that's keeping them from this this media deal, I believe, is the money and the fact that. Something with the pay-per-views. I got to re-listen to it, and I apologize. Um, they all they want all the media. Um, they want all the past shows on HBO Max. They want all the pet like how you can go back and watch Monday Night Raws and watch every SmackDown, and how you can watch every NXT. Every you can even watch the the game show NXT on Peacock. They basically want that on HBO Max, but something. Warner Bros. isn't folding for that. So that's really the only thing really holding this media rights deal back. And um, but they still won't. That's stupid. They still won't um fuck. What was I saying? They still want collision and rampage to still keep going on. I don't know why. You know what I think it is though? And um, you know what I think it is? And this will make a lot of sense. I was told that it's a strong possibility. It's a strong possibility that AEW or that Tony Khan is paying for TV time. That makes a whole lot of sense. That makes a whole lot of sense. If Tony Khan is paying for TV time, I don't give a fuck what ratings you draw. If you if you paying me to live at my home. I don't give a fuck what furniture you put it. What furniture you put in here? I don't care. Put whatever furniture you want in this motherfucker. Do whatever you want. So if you paying to stay at my house, if you paying to be on my channel, get whatever ratings you want. That makes a lot more sense. That makes a whole lot of sense when you think about it that way. I don't know. I don't know. So you saying on Instagram? Ringside news? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, chat. That's a that's a red flag. I'm not gonna lie to you. How did ringside news get it before WrestleNomics? I ain't gonna lie, chat. That's a red flag. You gotta give it that ringside news. Uh you gotta give it that ringside news, uh that tax, like the Meltzer tax. Is it ringside new? What's the other one? What's the guys who basically cra- he like got arrested? Those are the guys you got to watch out for. I don't know if it's ringside news, so forgive me on that. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Damn. <sighs> I'm not about to show y'all my Instagram DMs, so. <laughs> they had Will Osprey on this show and it still did those numbers. It's on Reddit as well. The latest episode. I wish I could show y'all on screen. The latest episode of AEW Collision on June 1st continued the promotion's commitment to delivering an engaging experiment. Fuck out of here. I went to Collision. This show fucking sucks. Collision is ass. It is garbage. Don't buy, don't go to collision. It's not worth it. I promise you. I promise you. Do not go to collision. You can skip it. Unless you just love wrestling, unless you in love with wrestling, do not go. I promise you. It's not worth it. They gotta they gotta switch something up with collision, bro. I I, I watched five 20 minute bangers. In a row, bro. Like I was like, God damn, bro. So according to Alfred Kanua, I hope I'm saying his name right. The June first edition of AEW Collision garnered an overnight average viewership of 122. Jesus Christ, dog. Jesus Christ. 122.
Damn, bro. It's hell nah, them ain't nitro numbers, man. Them is them is Mr. B stream numbers, bro. Them are Cassinat stream numbers. Them are WWE speed numbers. Them are DJ Academic stream numbers. Them more oh, da, 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 undisputed with Skip Bayless numbers. 122? Good Lord. Good Lord. It's funny you say Skip, because that's what a lot of people did to this episode, apparently. Come on, Skip. And this ain't Rampage. If it was Rampage, you know what? That's shitty, but we understand. This is collision. This is collision. The Saturday show that gets two hours. That Punk made relevant. That was for CM Punk. He gets more viewers on his own on Monday Night Raw than that whole show this entire month. Keep Leo Rush the fuck away from AEW. You work. Uh, you got to get me hip to that. You got to get me hip to that. Somebody in AEW need like uh, I understand. I report all bad news about AEW. I understand. I like, but y'all and I'm gonna look in the camera when I say this. I understand. I report all bad news about AEW, but I always challenge y'all to tell me this. Show me some good news. And I don't even report it. I just commentate on it. Show me some good news. Show me some good news. When Mercedes Monet signed, I said that was a W. I was optimistic on that. And I looked stupid for it. When Okada signed, I was excited. And I said congratulations. And I looked stupid. When Jack Perry returned and he started this CM Punk stuff, I said, congratulations. That's a good move. Then I look stupid. Every time I give y'all praise, I look stupid. So why do I have to keep being optimistic for a company that is fucking dead? It's dead, bro. And I'm not saying, again, when we say AEW, and I'm again, I'm going to look in the camera when I say this because a lot of disingenuous people, for some reason, can't put two and two together when we say this shit. When we say AEW is dead, we do not mean it's closing doors. Of course not. We all know that Tony Khan will keep AEW alive as long as the drugs are working. I'm sorry. Allegedly, the drugs are working. We know that he will keep AEW alive as long as the Monster Energy drinks are working. Is that better? Will I get sued now? That, that's, is that better? We all know that as long as car bumpers keep selling, AEW will be alive in the literal sense. But in terms of competing with WWE, dead. Dead. You are competing with TNA. You are competing with NWA. You are competing with DPW. You are competing with WCPW. And they're not even a thing no more. You are competing with WCW. You're not even competing with yourself anymore. 2021 AEW is up here. Now you're down here. And you're only getting lower. And it's because of one person. Tony fucking Khan. Give up booking. Simple. Give up booking. Give up leadership. Again, I said this in my last stream. Not everybody's meant to be a leader. Not everybody's meant to be a leader. Not everybody's meant to be a, a creative person. Not everybody is creative. But if you really love AEW, and if you really love the wrestlers and the camera uh, operators you hire, the backstage producers you hired, the writers, whoever, if you even have those, the wrestlers you've hired, Jim Ross, uh, Tony Schiavone, Chris Jericho, those people who put their legacies on the line to work for AEW, 
if you really love these people, you would get out of the way. You would get out of the way. You are hurting everyone. You are hurting everyone. You are destroying what you built, what you, what you birth, whatever. Now I just imagine Tony Khan giving birth to AEW, but you are destroying AEW. I'm not going to blame Chris Jericho, even though he is a problem. I'm not going to blame the Young Bucks, even though they are a problem. I'm not going to blame Excalibur's commentating because he is a problem. I'm not going to blame uh the I'm, I'm not going to ba- blame the wrestlers, even though they are a problem. I'm not going to blame the uh, producers, even though they are a problem. I'm going to blame one person because he has all the power in the world to change all this shit. Tony Khan, let it go. Let it go. Jesus Christ, man. That that 122, bro. Like, and I'm not like, bro, y'all could call me. What up, Dash? How you doing? Y'all could call me a hater all y'all want. I don't give a fuck. Because and I understand the, the logic of not talking about something you don't like. I understand it. But I like AEW. I do. I love AEW. I do. I love, bro. How could I not love the company that gave me MJF? How could I not love the company that gave me CM Punk back? How could I not love the company that brought Cody Rose back to WWE? How could I not love the company that, that made Samoa Joe? a world champion how could i not love the company that gave me hook how could i not love the company that gave me taz on commentary in 2024 how could i not love a company that gave me jim ross in 2024 how could i not love a company that gave me ruby soho brent baker uh thunder rosa and many many more I love it so much that I want it to succeed. Y'all, the ones who acting like everything is great, y'all are as much as a problem as Tony Khan is. Because nothing is great. Nothing. Nothing is great. The ticket sales ain't great. The merch ain't great. The merch is awful. The, um... Who texted me? Oh. Um... Oh, Tony Storm, how could I not? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's so much positive about AEW that's been buried over so much negative. Because of one person. Because of one person, man. And who does that sound like? Who were we just saying that about five years ago? I'll give you a hint. His name starts with a V and ends with a man. It sounds very similar, don't it? One person. We need to get this one person out of the way. But unfortunately, he's the person that owns the fucking company. Thank you, Pac-Man. I, it's, it's very frustrating, man. It's very frustrating, bro. It's very frustrating, man. Because you got all the right... You got right all the right ingredients, but you keep somehow putting... You keep fucking up your pizza somehow. You got uh, all the ingredients for pizza, and you keep fucking it up. How do you fuck up pizza? How do you fuck up pizza? How do you fuck up a bowl of cereal? How do you fuck up a a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? It's simple. It's simple. All right. Um... (laughs) Um, y'all want to talk about, all right, Jalen brought up Vince McMahon and I've heard a lot about